What's better than one greenhouse? Two greenhouses. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Hello, and welcome back to Adventures in Minecrafting. This is episode 20, and in our last episode, we spent time building up our gold farm in the nether, but we're not gonna be in the nether today. No, we're gonna be here at the bamboo sugarcane farm. In the last episode, I mentioned that this guy needed a little bit of love, and that's what we're gonna do. It's been pumping out the bamboo, pumping out the sugar cane, and you notice we only have to have one or two bamboo stalks. Uh, bamboo grows much quicker than sugar cane, and that's all you need is just stick a couple bamboo in your, uh, I'm sorry, stick a couple, yeah, stick a couple bamboo in your sugar cane farm, and you don't need a separate bamboo farm. But what I'd like to do today is give this a little love, turn this farm into something a little prettier than just a redstone machine sitting out here in the middle of the field. Maybe add uh, a second of whatever we build here. I'm thinking a greenhouse and put it up here on the hill. It'll fit right in with the flower shop. So how are we going to do that? Well, when you look at a greenhouse, if you look up a, an image search of greenhouses on Google, you will find that they tend to be tall and skinny with a pointed roof on them. There, there are some rounded ones, but I think the rounded ones are going to look too big right here. We need something compact, but in order to make it compact, I think we're going to need to make this redstone device even more compact as well. We're going to need to move this redstone in so that we can build a building around it that fits, that doesn't dwarf the other buildings. We don't, we just want a little greenhouse. We don't want a, a big building dwarfing the, dwarfing the mansion and dwarfing the flower shop. And then what we want to do is we want to send all these drops instead of into the chest, we want to send them up into our storage system up there in our base. So first things first, we're going to need to compact our redstone. And in order to do that, we're going to need a new block. And that is the target block. That's how you make a target block. Hay bale surrounded by four redstone. And we're going to use this target block to make this redstone fit in just a little bit tighter. So first things first, I'm gonna break out, let's see if I can break out some of these leaves. Uh, then I'm gonna collect some of this dirt. And I think, yep, I think we can do it that way. Let's pick up the redstone. Find our way down there. And we're going to replace this block with a target block because a target block will allow that redstone to make that sharp little turn. If that was just a normal block, the redstone would go straight into the leaf block. But with a target block, it'll pull the redstone that direction and allow us to have a more compact machine. Okay, not bad. Let's do it on the other side. Now we can fit the leaves back in here because they are transparent blocks. So the redstone can go right through them. See, works just fine. Now let's think about how we are, how, how'd that get there? <laughs> that should be a dirt block. Okay, now the next thing is to think about the base that we want for this. You know what? I also want to switch out. I want to do this all in the white glass. So let's switch out the clear glass for the white glass. And there we go. Now to build a base for our greenhouse. And there we go. We put down a stone base for the foundation. Now, if you look at a greenhouse, normally it has uh, wooden beams that go up and over at several places, um, filled in with glass, or usually, I think, in the real world, sometimes it's 
Uh, sometimes it's plastic. Uh, but we'll use glass. We'll use this white glass for that. So let me put in some beams. And there we go. I went with the light birch to tie it in to the light birch that we use. We used in the flower shop, we used much Oh, there's a cave there. Uh, we used much lighter uh, colored wood. We used the stripped birch, and I thought that would tie it in really nicely. Um, and I like this. I like this. Sometimes the simplest answer is the best answer in Minecraft. Uh, now, some of you are wondering, what are we going to do with... Well, some of you are wondering why every time it turns on, that block moves. Don't worry, we're going to do something about that. But you're also wondering how we're going to cover up uh, how we're going to cover up those target blocks. Uh, these are easy questions, and we're going to deal with that as we detail in just a minute. But first things first, we need to fill this in with some glass. There you go. If you're paying close attention in the time lapse, uh, you'll notice we switched out those full blocks up at the top for half slabs, and I think that's a little bit better. I'm thinking maybe even replacing these full blocks right along here with uh, stairs, birch stairs. Let's try that, see what it looks like. Ooh, I like that better. I like that better. Okay, let's do it to all of them. Yes, that's a nice change. That's added a good bit more texture and interest to the side of the greenhouse. And you notice I also put in a beam. I realized we needed a little bit more structural support, so I put in a beam across here using the stair blocks. Looks like I missed one. Uh, well, we're going to replace that guy with... If we can do it, there we go. With normal block, and that looks like a hinge... Yeah, that's a good bit. That's a good bit more structure. Excellent. Now, the next step is you're wondering here, why isn't there glass right here? Well, we'd have the same problem with glass that we've had with this block uh, right here, which is in it's going to get pulled in every time that these slime blocks, because any block the slime blocks are touching, they're going to get pulled in. And that's going to look kind of funny to have this building that's moving all the time. So. My thought is that what we will use is birch trap doors. Now bear with me for a second here. I'm going to put some birch blocks along here and we're going to put the trap doors just like this. And you'll notice they're not inside this block where they'll get stuck to the slime. They're outside of it. And I think that's a nice look. Let's see now what does that look like once we take these blocks away. Oh, you can't even tell. That's nice. I like that bit of detail. So what we'll do is we'll go around the entire building and add those birch trap doors. And there we go. Now, do you see what I see? Uh, I'm debating here. This block, this block right here is bugging me. What if we put one of these guys in? Does that look a little bit more structurally sound? I think it does. So I'm going to swing around and put, replace all of those bottom wood pieces. Now that we've got this division here, I don't think they need to be birch anymore. Let's make them all, eh, yeah, let's make them all the um, chiseled stone brick. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. Now the next step is we need to start doing some detailing to make this look a little bit more interesting. So let me play around, maybe even with some more of these guys, and see if we can get some detailing in here. I'll be right back. Now it doesn't look like a bamboo sugarcane farm anymore. Nope, we've got a greenhouse. Check it out. 
I added in some uh, plain glass up there just to give a little variation as if the glass wasn't clean everywhere or maybe it was a little cleaner in certain places. In case you're wondering, yeah, there, there's nothing behind that door. That's just fake. Uh, a little hanging plant there. Put some uh, workbenches out around the greenhouse. Here we go. They've been cutting some flowers, uh, some various plants. And benches looks like they're growing some roses here and here we added this is something you may not have realized but you can use a bed to make a fairly nice little little bench uh, we've hidden the trap doors back inside of this block and that lines it right up uh, we moved the path right around behind we've got some bamboo growing out here with a little string at the top to keep it from getting too big um, this is obviously, this is a pathway you can tell isn't used much, but you come around here and here's some more benches and storage and barrels over on this side, some empty flower pots looking to be filled, some more work being done, and you can even come over here and stand and watch the farm working. So there you go. How's that? So now what we need is you see we've covered up uh, all of our chests down here, we need to connect those chests up with our storage. In order to do that, I've got to figure out, I think our mob farm, I think our mob farm that's right behind this wall goes straight down right about here. So if I can drop a line down from here, carry it over just a few blocks, we can run it right into that line. Let me go do that and I'll be right back. Well, if you can hear clicking, that means everything is working. That clicking is the sound of the dropper underneath here, taking all of the drops from those two, oh, one and a half full chests of bamboo and sugar cane and bringing it up here. Actually, it goes down into a water stream that meets up with our mob farm and then goes through the water stream from our mob farm over to our iron farm and then from the water stream from our iron farm it heads over and around and there it is coming in ever so slowly but ever so surely there's all of our bamboo coming in wonderful now we've got access to it up here that is perfect Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love it. I love it. You know what we need to do now? We need to put a second one right there. And now, thanks to the magic of video editing, we have not just one, but two greenhouses. Oh, I love it. I love it. So this, I, I don't love that, but I love this. Now, this one is still hiding the bamboo and... Uh, sugarcane farm. I don't know why I can never remember the name of sugarcane. I think it used to be called something else. Notice we've added some vines that uh, that gives it a little bit of an aged look. But this one, this is the new one. And this one is different because it's not hiding a farm. It's actually got a little story here. Look, we've got a full greenhouse here with plants hanging and shelves with books and pots and an area to work pick up those scissors shears pick up those shears and do things like that what did i do oh don't do that okay and you can we've even got some bees that are living in here on the flowers check it out not bad let's get a couple more looks notice we've put a door out this way as well and i did do the front i finished up the road through here um, I did do some storage out in the front, but I left the back a little wild and, and overgrown. I thought this was a nice look for back here. Even let some of the uh, bamboo grow up high. Uh, we had this oak tree right here already growing, so we cut that down. And again, not a nice plant. And Seriously, why do I put these everywhere? Hi, Bee. Why do I put these everywhere? Oh, you don't know. Just keep making your honey. So that's it. Look at this. Look at this. Two greenhouses now right in our front yard. And that's 
the time we've got for today's episode. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're going to continue. Where'd I go? I, I, there I am. I hope you're going to continue to watch and like and subscribe and do all those things that YouTube tells you to do, not because I told you to do them, but because you want to do them, because you're enjoying these episodes in Adventures in Minecraft. And I will see you... Well, I won't see you, maybe. I'm, I'm invisible. This is a fun bug in Minecraft. Can I come back? There! I will see you in episode 21.